Yes, sir. Okay, what could you please tell, uh, tell us about uh, the findings about the uh, uranium? Uh, the findings about the uranium, I cannot tell you much about, but I can tell you that uh, we have uh, clear uh, evidence that the Israelis are using a new type of very uh, high explosive weapons which are called dense inert metal explosives which is made out of a tungsten alloy. These uh, weapons have an enormous power to explode. Uh, the power of the explosion dissipates very quickly. It, it, the, the strength uh, does not travel long, maybe 10 meters. But those humans who are hit by this uh, explosion, this pressure wave, are cut in pieces. Uh, this was first time used in Lebanon in 2006. It was used here in Gaza in 2006. And the injuries that we see in Shifa now, many, many of them, I suspect and we all suspect, are the uh, effect of dime weapons used by the Israelis. On the long term, these weapons will have a cancer effect on those who survive they will develop cancer, we suspect. It has been very little uh, research on this, but some research has been done, uh, among other places in the United States, uh, which show that these weapons have a very high tendency to develop cancer. So they kill, and those who survive uh, risk having cancer. Okay, and what is your saying about this? Well, as, as anything, uh, everything, and all that is happening here in Gaza now, it is against international law, it is against humanity, and I think it is very much against what it means to be a decent person. You don't treat other people like this. Even if you disagree with them, maybe even if you fight with them, you don't pre treat civilians, children and women like this. And I have an appeal to the Israeli doctors and nurses. They are my colleagues. We belong to the same international community, the medical community. I wish that the good doctors and nurses in Israel tell their government to stop these atrocities. We cannot continue with this. We may differ in opinions, but you cannot treat the civilian Palestinian population in Gaza in this way. Today, they were bombing in Gaza City. We received 150 wounded and more than 50 killed. Only I, at the Shifa? Yes, here to Shifa. I treated a 10-year-old boy he had his whole chest filled with fragments from the bomb. On his lap was an other person's uh, leg that had been cut off. We resuscitated him. We did everything we could do to save his life, but he died between our hands. This is such a terrible experience. And behind the numbers that you report all the time, there are human beings, families, women, grandmothers, children. That is, in fact, uh, the reality in this situation. Those who are paying the price for the Israeli bombardments now, they are common people, Palestinian people. Half of the population in Palestine are below 15 years. 80% of the Palestinians in Gaza live beyond, below the level of poverty defined by the UN. No, they don't have food. They don't have electricity. It's cold, they don't have warmth, and in addition to that, they are killed. Okay. This must be stopped. How many people did you see who are affected by this weapon? I have, uh, I, um, you know, almost all uh, of the patients we have received with these severe amputations, they seem to have been affected by this kind of weapon. Of course, we have many fragment injuries and burns, uh, but those who have uh, got their limbs cut completely off uh, constitutes uh, quite a proportion. Uh, you know, we have so much to do. Uh, the Palestinian uh, doctors, uh, paramedics, nurses, volunteers uh, do uh, an incredibly uh, heroic job to save their people. Uh, Dr. Eric and I, we are just a small drip in the ocean. Uh, but we learn from them. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have the time to do research. We have to save the lives. But uh, this uh, question should be researched by the international community. And it's uh, due time that um, the international community uh, posed the question what kind of weapons uh, Israel are using against the Palestinians.